Comedy Central presents Gavin Kelly. This really is one of the young guns of South African comedy. Are you ready for another truly South African stand-up comedian? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of South Africa's hot young rising stars. Hello. <laughs> so my name is Gavin Kelly, and hello. And I am from Pretoria. Ooh, Tswane. Yeah. Yeah, Pretoria is strange, man. Pretoria is strange because it's famous for the Union Buildings, uh, home of the Blue Bulls rugby team, and the Four Tracker Monument. So I think back in the Four Tracker days, Pretoria was like the Afrikaans version of Django Unchained. And I had, a rough, I had a rough childhood growing up in Pretoria because I couldn't understand or speak Afrikaans. I don't know why, I just couldn't learn it. And I think it's because every time somebody speaks Afrikaans to me, I feel like I'm about to get oppressed. Because <laughs> they can be like, Anjana McInnes, and I'll be like, whoa, 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 hey. I got no beef with you, man. We're on the same team, man. My ex-girlfriend was even Afrikaans. My ex-girlfriend was Afrikaans, but the day she said to me, Gavin, I can leave for Joe, is the day she left me for my cousin's best friend, Joe. <laughs> we had communication problems. <laughs> Besides from being Pretoria, I was also raised by a proud single mother, which was actually confusing as a kid because for years I used to think my mother was my father and my domestic worker was my mother. <laughs> but I loved Priscilla. I loved Priscilla, our maid. I loved her like a mother because she loved me like a son. I mean, she cared for me, she cooked for me, she cleaned for me. She even breastfed me, which was a bit... <laughs> which was a bit weird because her breast milk tastes like Inkomazi. <laughs> I know, you would think chocolate milk, you would think. <laughs> and as a child, I used to love one thing and one thing only. I used to love chappies, man. I used to love ch chappies. were my thing, you know? And I don't know why, yesterday I was just feeling nostalgic, so I went to the shops and I bought one chappie, because, uh, also because I couldn't afford Stimerol at the time. <laughs> So I read the rapper, as you do when you buy a chappie, right? And it was crazy interesting, because it, it read, did you know that a starfish has no brains? And I was like, oh, I didn't actually know that. It explains a lot. That's why Patrick is so stupid. <laughs> and then I read the next fact, and it said, did you know that Walt Disney's character, known as Pinocchio, was Jewish? <laughs> okay. So then I read the last fact, and it said, did you know that coconuts kill more people in a year than shark attacks? And I was like, what? Coconuts kill more people in a year than shark attacks? Who in the hell are these murdering black people with well-spoken Model C accents? Mm -hmm. These killing coconuts. Mm -hmm. These killing coconuts that date white people don't like house music, have a good education. These coconut criminals must be apprehended at once. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is that Lenduya Mazabuka is a suspect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause the Lord knows if that coconut falls in your head, she'll crush you to death. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be an insult. It's supposed to be an insult when you call somebody a coconut. But if I was black and somebody called me a coconut, I'd be like, what you call me? I called you a coconut. Oh yeah, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're rich and you speak good English. Oh, thanks. <laughs> My parents worked hard. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe it's just another stereotype we use to describe a group of people we just don't really understand. You know, that's why I think it's important for each and every one of us to fight our own stereotype. That's what I've been doing lately. I've been fighting my stereotype. Yeah, that's right. I've been learning how to dance. <laughs> I even went for lessons, man, but I, I don't know. I don't think I went the right way because 
I went for tap dancing lessons, which is useless in everyday life. Because two weeks ago, I was in a club and I was just chilling on the dance floor and this girl started getting all nice and close. And the closer, the closer she got to me, as soon as she got to my personal space, I was like, Needless to say, uh, she attacked me with a handbag and uh, I knew I should have taken salsa lessons. <laughs> the only way I can dance, the only way I can dance freely is if I'm really, really drunk and I lose all my self-respect. And I don't, know, I don't know what it is about being drunk and having no self-respect that just makes me want to dance like a white girl. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's easy, white girls just dance like they're taking a shower. All night long, man. It doesn't, know, it doesn't matter what song is playing. But if I get really, really wasted, if I get really, really sloshed, I start dancing like a black girl. Which is also easy, because black girls dance like they're taking a boss cock. <laughs> like they're shitting in the bushes, because out of nowhere, they'll be like, Chesa! I, 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 I. Hey guys, my name is Gavin Kelly. You guys have been awesome. Thank you.